the casket of one of New York's finest. <laughs> Mourners lining the sidewalks, paying their respects to Officer Rafael Ramos, his casket draped in an NYPD flag. Oh, no! oh! His fellow officers right by his side, entering a church where he once worshipped. I feel really sad because this is like a known person around our neighborhood. Honoring the life of a man who was shot dead, along with fellow officer Wen Jin Lao, the two ambushed while having lunch in their patrol car on a Brooklyn street. Life is not guaranteed and, you know, it's just my heart goes out to the family. It's really sad, man. It's really sad. 25,000 law enforcement officers from across the nation expected among the massive crowd to support a deeply shaken police department. NYPD brass and political leaders also in attendance, all aware of the tensions. It, this going to be a dark period for New York unless we can turn it around. Police not taking any chances with security, a full show of force from the rooftops to the streets. Officer Ramos had been a school security officer when he joined the NYPD three years ago. He was on his way to becoming a chaplain. Lou, an only child, was married only two months ago. His distraught widow at a press conference seeking donations for both men. Former Mayor Rudolph Giuliani pledging $20,000 to a memorial fund. The hope to pay off $800,000 worth of outstanding mortgage debt and to ease the family's financial burdens. The New York Yankees pledged to pay for the kids' education and Queens-based JetBlue Airlines ease flying law enforcement to the funerals from around the country for free. A heartbroken city rallying around two beat officers whose extraordinary killing has left despair. It's a shame. It's terrible. It's ter absolutely terrible. I can't get over it.